Hey, what's going on guys? Wap here, bringing you another Iron Man progress video. Uh, as you saw in the last episode, got cabin fever done, so now I'm just killing some of these. I wish that would have been a black mask. So you can see my task is bats. Um, when I went to go buy my Wishwood icon things, I accidentally took a task from Tariel, so... Luckily, I'm going to be in this cave. I'll just finish that task while I'm here, but yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. Anyway, I'm just going to stay here until I get a black mask. Um, hopefully, it won't be too long. I've been here, I don't know, like 15 kills or something. I can actually check. Um, yeah, it's been like 20 kills, so I'm not expecting anything, but hopefully I can get one pretty soon. Uh, if not, I'm definitely guaranteed to get a lot of clue scrolls here, so it's not a big deal. And I'm training my range, which I really desperately need to get up, so... No big deal. Just gonna chill out here for a while, see what I can get, and uh, hopefully get a lot of Slayer done in this episode. Okay, whoever put these insult horror head drops into the game is like the most sadistic son of a bitch. Like, come on. That looks exactly like a black mask. That's. No. Stop it. I have like four of these now. Alright guys, there it is, Black Mask, only 80 killed actually, and I already got it, so that's freaking amazing, I didn't even get a clue, that's like the best luck I've ever had, so, awesome, I'm gonna kill a couple more of these, I guess, see if I can maybe get a placeholder, yeah, who knows, and then, uh, I guess I'll just head back to Slayer, so that was like the most painless thing ever, I'm actually really surprised. Alright, that was actually my 50th task in a row, so I got 150 points, uh, how many points do I actually have? And, uh, don't, don't notice like I, I didn't actually die while afking on that task that didn't happen okay so i can actually um can almost get a slayer helmet actually i'm five points away but i think actually the first thing i'm gonna get is uh broader fletching i don't i don't know if i'm gonna get it right now but that's probably gonna be the first thing that i do um just because i do need to get 70 prayer and i'm probably gonna be killing blue dragons for that so i'll probably be training my range with you know rune crossbow broad bolts that'd probably make the most sense and uh yeah, I'll probably be doing that pretty soon, so anyway, Jungle Horrors, this could be my first ban, actually. I'm really tempted to do it, or my second ban, actually. Uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll decide. Okay, so finally the task I've been kind of waiting for, 44 Iron Dragons. Now that's going to be a really tough task, because as you can tell, I do not have the level to get um, anti-fire potions, so that's going to be kind of rough. I think you need 69, something like that. Yeah. So, that's going to be a little rough, but um, they do drop rune limbs, and once I get my rune limbs, I can go ahead and make a crossbow, and I will have uh, broad bolts and all that available for use. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this task. It's almost guaranteed that I'm going to get rune limbs during this task, and if I don't, I'm going to, like, cry. But, uh, yeah, wish me luck. This is probably going to be, like, 15 trip task or something like that. So, yay. Alrighty guys, so uh, I actually did get this, it was about, I think I have about 30 kills left, but I have to make, I had to get raw beef, make it into a sinew, I've never done this before, I guess this makes it into a crossbow string, and then, boom, okay, here we go, rune crossbow, can't actually wield it yet, but that will be nice for the future, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and kill a couple blue dragons now, uh, it's a good AFK thing to do I guess. Make me some money, get me some clues, and uh, get me closer to 70 crafting, I guess. And, uh, yeah. Hey, guys. So, um, it has been several months since that last clip, actually. Um, basically, I haven't felt like playing. I've made quite a few Smite videos, done a bit of streaming, made a bit of empty promises that I never kept, all that stuff. Um, and basically, I've been super busy in real life. I got a puppy which is basically like having a human baby around the house that you have to deal with all the time. And I uh, also just had uh, a couple catastrophes in my life kind of happen that I didn't, don't really feel like talking about. So basically I've been um, kind of not doing anything, uh, which I haven't seen any videos in forever, but I am back. I am kind of working on this account again, uh, just messing around. So many updates have happened since I <laughs> stopped playing, so I don't even know where to begin. So as I'm sitting here taking in all the new information, I'm just spam fletching these I don't know why um, when I logged in I was just sitting here and apparently I had a lot of stuff to fletch so I guess I'm just gonna be fletching this for a while see what's going on uh, until I get into the swing of things but um, yeah not even sure what I was doing at the time I have a clue scroll in my bank I'll probably be doing that pretty soon 
And yeah, um, that's about all I can think of. Once I come up with a plan for stuff that I want to do, I will uh, let you guys know. Okay, so I decided to do this clue. This could be the last step. It is not. Uh... Alright guys, so uh, after that extremely depressing clue I decided just gonna go ahead and train my range a little bit. Uh, I'm killing Tessars. Don't ask why. I guess uh, Obsidian Cape is like the best cape that I can get for quite a while. So, I mean, I might be able to. These are AFK, good experience, I guess, relatively. You can see, close to 61. Once I get 61, I'm gonna go ahead and use that Rune Crossbow by the broader fletching thing and uh, kill a bunch of blue dragons. Hopefully, do get a bunch of clues and yeah, hopefully get some good loot and uh, start working my way to 70 prayer. Obviously not gonna collect all the bones, but I'll just kill them until I get really bored and then probably do some more quests. So yeah, making progress. All right, there we go guys, uh, 61 range. Can now use my rune crossbow, that's pretty cool. Gonna go ahead and uh, make myself some broad bolts and I'm either going to um, kill blue dragons or I might just get back to Slayer, I'm not really too sure yet. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll decide and get back to you. Okay, I killed a few blue dragons, uh, figured I was just gonna go ahead and check my kingdom. I don't know if I left anything in here. Um, okay, obviously I did not leave very much in here. So we will go ahead and see what we got. Yeah, I have 2k in here, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and make that even, I guess 10, 50k should be good enough. And yeah, start collecting stuff from the kingdom. And I think I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and go do a bit of Slayer. Uh, Blue dragons are really boring, so <laughs> I'll do some Slayer and uh, work on getting 85 combat, and um, yeah. Well guys, awesome, got 60 Slayer, that is pretty freaking amazing because Aberrant Spectres are going to be a great task. Uh, one of my main things that I really need to get up is Herb Lore, I need at least 64 so that I can have anti-fire potions and don't have to bring a bunch of food on dragon tasks. Which are extremely common, and uh, I'd also like to be able to range these, so yeah, 60 Slayer is a pretty damn good milestone. And uh, as you can see, also 69 Strength, 81 Combat, getting closer to that 85. I'm trying to rush that as soon as possible. I did do a couple uh, games of Nightmare Zone, and I can kill the things in there relatively easily, so that wouldn't be a problem, but I would definitely want to beat uh, Dream Mentor so that I can get the inadequacy to spawn in there all the time. Um, that would definitely help a lot with grinding points to get my Slayer Mask, or my Black Mask upgraded. And um, yeah, once that happens, Slayer will be just really good. Alright guys, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna sidetrack you from the progress video a little bit. Alright, I'm hitting the mouse scroll button. Seeing that? Just like, slightly moves the camera. Why? Alrighty guys, well after that extremely painful task, let's get a new one, Molinisks. I really don't feel like doing that, but it's a super easy task, so I'm actually really hoping that I can get Turoths pretty soon, because I would uh, love to get a leaf bladed sword just for those dragon tasks. I might actually camp a few of them if I get another dragon task, because like, dragon scimitar is just nah, not working. Okay, I finished that task, actually got a mole claw, I saw that those got buffed like the the nests that you get from them so maybe they're actually like half decent now maybe perhaps i don't know new task fuck okay guys i wasn't recording but i actually got myself a zamorak page four uh this is a two-step clue so i wasn't expecting anything my last one i got like a studded body so zamorak page four that's pretty amazing um hopefully i don't already have that i know i do have one zamorak page in the bank so this could be, yeah, that is amazing. Two out of four Zamorak pages. They did update it so that you can get all the books whenever you want, so that's useful. That'll actually be really useful um, later on if I get, you know, an Aviancy task or something like that, then I can um, very easily, you know, do that task because I can get an Armadil book and not have to worry about trying to fill up the page. So yeah, that's pretty amazing. I just got that from the Ban uh, Banshee task, so gonna go get a new one. Okay, our next task will be jellies. Ooh, that is a really good one. Now that is going to hopefully net me quite a few uh, hard clue scrolls. 
and it's also pretty good for range training, so I'm considering uh, training it with range. Um, not really too sure, but actually, I'm just going to completely reverse that. No, I'm not going to turn that with range. I'm going to go to the Warrior's Guild, actually, really quickly. I teleported to the wrong place, and I forgot my boots. I'm a basket case today, but anyway, I'm going to go to the uh, Warrior's Guild to try to get myself a Dragon Defender, because I just realized that I have 60 defense, so... Uh, hopefully this won't be too painful of a climb. I think I have plenty of Warrior Guild tokens somewhere. So you can see I rearranged my bank a little bit, added a new tab for magic stuff. Anyway, uh, Warrior Guild tokens. Yes, I have plenty, so uh, let's hopefully get a Dragon Defender. Ah, I remember that day. The day that I spent like three hours trying to get an adamant square shield, and then I just get one in like 20 kills here. No big deal. Um, so far gone through a full inventory of food, nothing, but these actually have decent drops, they have like a ton of health, it's actually like a really good training spot, uh, I would recommend it to all of you mains out there who just train your combat and don't train Slayer, this would be a nice place, there's absolutely nobody here, a ton of them, yeah, pretty nice. Okay guys, that took a lot longer than it needed to, but there we go, Dragon Defender and a Longbone in the exact same drop, that's actually really weird. There we go, Dragon Defender. I don't even know how much better it is. I need to pick this up. Okay. Don't even know how much better it is, but uh, yeah, got that out of the way. And with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Sorry it took so long. Uh, this should be coming out a little bit more often. Like I say, every video, and then they never do. But anyway, uh, that's going to be all for today. So uh, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you later.